Hey, I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try things for the very first time and hopefully encourage you to try new things too. Mm -hmm. And today it's science! Mega science. This is... That's a lot of science. It's huge. <laughs> it's massive. We got sent this off of our Amazon wish list by Shannon West. Thank you very much, Thank Shannon Thank you, Shannon. And I know I went overboard. I wanted the big deluxe one because this one's got a volcano. Very good reasons. Natalie never made a volcano in grade school when all the other science kids were doing it. And they see this on TV and she missed this experience. And so today we're going to make up for that experience. This is Earth Science, Chemistry, and Science Magic, National Ooh. Geographic. Let's open this yes. thing up. Yes, open. Uh, this is your experiment map. Let's this is fun how they did this. I like how they sectioned out the the, the, the categories. It's so yep. cute. Earth, science, chemistry, and then science magic. This is too big to do a total unboxing. No, there's there so much stuff. There are 75 experiments in here. Yeah. Uh, today, we're going to do three. We're going to make a volcano. Yes. We're going to do some chemistry. Yes. And then we're going to do some science magic. Yes. But we got to start with this volcano because it's yes. a lot of to do z to do Yeah. So each section comes with like all these tools and things, like all the things you're going to need to make rock crystals. Yeah. To make, I mean, the, the amount so of much things stuff. that you get to do. Oh my God. And then your science experiment guide. Yes. So what we're going to need is from the kit, plaster of Paris. Volcano plaster. A stir stick from the volcano mold. Oh, volcano mold. Okay. You go here. Thank you. Also, we're gonna need a large disposable container uh -huh. and water. And water. This experiment takes longer than the others. Total time is two hours to two days. So what we're gonna do is, because we have to make this mold, and then it has to cook, and then we're gonna do another experiment, and then we're gonna come back. But for now, let's make the mold! Arrange the three volcano mold walls in any order with the mold base on a flat surface. Okay, okay, Well, then okay. stretch the rubber band around the exterior of the mold and place within each notch near the top lip. And we're good. Now we're gonna prepare our plaster. Pour one cup of water into a large disposable container. Gradually add your plaster to the water, stirring until all your plaster is blended smoothly. In. Bam. How much plaster? There's so much here. This is a whole package, but it seems like a no lot. No way. Yeah. It's the whole That's thing. not gonna fit in here. I don't, it's not gonna fit in there. It's not gonna fit in here. It's not gonna fit in there. Okay. French guess. Am I supposed to be wearing goggles? <laughs> not for this purse. <laughs> There's plaster just don't, coming Just off. don't eat the plaster. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, okay. okay. Gradually. Oh my God, there's plaster everywhere. Mm-hmm. I've shot my mat down. Get the mat, Tara. Get the mat. There's already plaster on my table. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right. Okay. It's Why is this guy in a KN95 for this? I feel like... Once the plaster is mixed and ready, pour it into the volcano mold. After pouring, gently tap the sides of the mold and let any air bubbles sit for 30 to 40 minutes. Oh dear gosh. Yeah. This isn't milkshake. This is... <laughs> I mean, we've gone too far. We've gone too far. <laughs> Okay, we're, yeah, this is, it doesn't say anything about if you made it too thick. Okay, <laughs> let's just, let's pour it. Just pour, pour it in it. there. Here, Get you it. put it in there. It's Get not pouring. Close. I don't know what you're talking about. This isn't going to pour. This is... Oh, it's seized up. Yeah, you went, we went too we far. far. We, we went, went too far. We went too far. I'm going in with my hand. This is yeah. it. It's yeah. going underneath these fingernails. I'll be very unhappy about this later, but my science experiment is, my chances of having a volcano are slowly <laughs> getting away from me. <laughs> Probably flatten out the top. There, yeah. we, it says tap it to get rid of air bubbles. There's no oh, tapping it. This that. is solid mass. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work out, guys. I think we. <laughs> I think we're gonna run into like. Did it get down in the bottom? Yeah, I pushed it. I pushed okay, it down in there. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, now that needs to sit for 30 to 40 minutes. Uh -huh. I'll tap the air bubbles out. <laughs> <laughs> Tapped. Oh wow! It's already. It's. I don't think it needs to sit. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll let that sit for 30 or 40 minutes. We'll just, yeah. Let's clean ourselves up really quick and okay. come back, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okie dokie, we're gonna do science magic now uh, while that does its magic. And then again, this one comes with its all its own kits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. We're going to make it red with an, so this is col conjuring colors and it's how 
Uh, do you like the tangy taste of orange juice or lemonade? How about the sour gummy worms, that sharp tang that comes from acid? With these experiments, you will witness the incredible color-changing chemistry of acids and their opposite alkynes, also called base. Here's how it works. Okay, so what we're gonna need, we need red cabbage powder. Mm -hmm. Citric acid. Clear cup. Beaker. Beaker? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pipette. Mm -hmm. Pipette and um, small scoop and medium scoop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To fill the beaker with water to the 40 milliliter line. So we're gonna add one small scoop of the red cabbage powder to the water and stir until the powder is completely dissolved. The solution you just created is an indicator. That's how my hand works. <laughs> Fill the clear cup half full with water. We are going to add one medium scoop of citric acid to the clear cup and mix well until the powder is dissolved. So now we're gonna fill the pipette with the acidic solution. Using the pipette, slowly add the acidic solution to the indicator. Stir the indicator while you add the acidic solution and science magic. So this is gonna turn this red. Ooh, wow. Yeah, Why? that's fun. Why? 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 <laughs> why? <laughs> Tell me why. Why? <laughs> why did that happen? Yes, why? Uh, red cabbage contains a pigment called anthocyanin, an indicator that is visually shows the pH value of the substance. When a substance pH value is acidic, the pigment will turn a red color. When a substance pH value is alkaline, basic, the pigment will turn blue, which... which is what we're gonna do now. We're Next. gonna make a blue with a base. Add one small scoop of red cabbage powder to the beaker. We are gonna add one medium scoop of baking soda. <laughs> uh, so. oh, mm -hmm. It's gonna turn Ready? blue, uh-huh. Yeah, that went from purple, purple to blue. and blue well, against this mat even, that's yeah. hard to tell. Okay, now the change is color to purple to blue. A deep blue, it says. Now there's another step to this magic trick. Ta-da! Now the magic beaker. Now use your color changing skills with acids and bases to create the magic beaker that you can pour different colors. Ooh, okay. Add 10 milliliters of warm water and one big scoop of citric acid to a clear cup. Mix until the powder is dissolved. Yes. Mixing, 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 mixing. This is your acidic solution, the red cup. And then we're gonna add 10 milliliters of warm water and one big scoop of baking soda, the other clear cup. All right, you stir that, I'm gonna go get some water. Okay. And we're gonna stir in one small scoop of the red cabbage powder. Put the beaker and clear cups on the table. Ask your audience, which two colors make purple? What two colors make purple? Okay, we, do we have a, a magic wand? Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, which two colors make purple? And they will say red and red and blue make purple. Okay, say red out loud, and you pour some indicator into the cup with citric acid solution. So it takes red, ooh, and it takes blue, ooh. Am I supposed to pour all this in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and then now tell the audience you can change the liquid back to purple. Okay, that's what. Oh, okay, ready? Okay, you ready? All right, ready? Ready for the magic? Say the magic word, Tara. Um, Haas and Pfeffer. Haas and Pfeffer Incorporated. Whoa! Uh, why did that happen? Why I will did tell that you. Happen? We learned in the previous experiments why a pH indicator changes color and it interacts with acids and bases. The fizzing happens because the solution releases carbon dioxide as part of their chemical reaction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that is so Okay, so this experiment is done. Done. We have we we can take this guy out of its mold. We're going back to we're going back to the earth science really quick. Back guys. to earth. Once the plaster is set, carefully remove the mold and use your stirring stick to scrape off any unwanted mold lines left behind. Okay, yeah, okay. see, like, I'm a little worried that there's not enough room in there to make mm -hmm. my volcano. Just put it right there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't see anything I need to really scrape off. I mean, we need to put it in a warm, dry place for one to two days or dry the plaster more quickly. Have an adult helper put the volcano in the oven for one to two mm -hmm. hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it cool and you're ready to paint. 
We are not going to paint it though, because no. I am, I'm, I was gonna say because I'm an adult, but I think it's more because I'm an impatient Impatience. child. Yes. But so let's go, we're gonna bake it. Okay. And we're gonna do our chemistry experiment. And then we will finish with the finest ta-da of the, the volcano. The magic. Okay. All right, okay, 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 let's go bake it. Okay, we are on to chemistry. Chemistry. Ooh, we're gonna make instant worms. Yes. We're dealing with polymers. Okay, Ooh. so what we're gonna need is sodium alginate al solution. Sodium cool. alginate solution. Mm -hmm. It's a squeeze bottle, yeah. Ah. Okay. Talk up. <laughs> Medium scoop. Make sure you use your safety goggles, gloves, and experiment mat for this one. Do all the safety <laughs> for, for the gloves. Where it belongs. Mm. All right, you take the instructions. All right, I'm on it. I'm gonna okay. Go on the safety. Wait, what else says? It says gloves, mat, and goggles. Okay, I'm I'm not ready. Okay. I'm ready. Watch your eyes. Don't look this direction while I'm doing this. It could be dangerous already. Already. Who knows what water I put in here? Okay, half full of water. Yes. I'm gonna add one medium scoop of the calcium chloride and stir the solution until the powder is dissolved. I'm not rolling on my mic. Did you ever roll on your mic? Yes. That's okay, we'll, 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 we'll be fine with your mic. Yeah. Medium scoop of the calcium chloride and stir solution into the powder dissolved. And dissolved. Dissolved, excellent, all right. Squeeze a long, steady stream of sodium alginate into the cup. Repeat until you have several long strands. We're gonna run into problems right now. Oh no. I'm gonna squeeze one long, steady stream. Yes. That's not one. <laughs> that doesn't. That doesn't do. <laughs> you made boba. <laughs> that doesn't do a long steady. It doesn't steady wow. stream. It's too full. I mean, the 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 the, the mm -hmm. snout. This what if I not? It can't do yeah, it. Yeah, it won't do it. It won't do it. Let's get a pipette. Uh, yes. Oh, that's so much better. There you that go. Did, that's what that you want. Did, what's is what's the next step? Just look at it. Uh, and then <laughs> and then pull your worms out of the water, or let them soak and see if they become more solid. Ooh, look at that! Oh. Oh, <laughs> gross. We made boogers. Gross. Ew, we made Ew, boogers. That's pretty gross. Uh, so what happened here? Seriously scientific polymer chains. Some of the most important and interesting polymers are, const are structured like a long chain. The DNA that stores all the genetic information for living organisms is polymer, as in, is the hair on your head and the silk on a spider's web. Man-made polymers include rayon, nylon, polyester materials often used to make clothing. Can I touch it? Um, nothing says not to. It's a safety first. I'm touching this. Oh wait, it says don't do that, it's poisonous. I'm just kidding. I'm touching it. Just kidding. Ew. Ew. Oh wow, yes. Science! Ew. This yes, is ew. this is how it came out of the thing. <laughs> Alright, I can't wear these anymore. I'm sorry. Right. Safety first kids, but that We're really done. Hurts. We're done. Awesome. That was cool. Yeah, I'm going in. Why was I wearing gloves? I don't know. And here we are. When you knew this is what was going to be the next thing I did. <laughs> the natural next step would be us touching it directly. <laughs> I did, I made boba. Okay. All right. I need to clean this mess. Let's up. clean up volcano time. <laughs> okay. Super. We are here to finish our science experiment. Final experiment. Mm -hmm. All right. So make your own volcano erupt. Here, this is it. This is the, the reason we are here. Do I need my goggles again? Fill a measuring cup with one cup of water. Duck. Add. One big scoop of eruption powder A. That's A. Yep. Ooh, eruption powder A. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now eruption powder B. In there. Use the scoop to mix the powders together. Okay. Then okay. pour water into the top of the volcano a little at a time and stand back as the volcano erupts. Okay. This is more than one cup, but I, I'm not gonna pour the whole thing. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, just okay, all right, all right, okay, I gotta come, come back here a little bit, ready? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a, ah! oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! no! Lava going everywhere, don't throw marshmallows into it, the Hawaiians hate that. <laughs> Bam, why did that happen? 
The bubbling lava is a result of the chemical reaction between the citric acid and the sodium bicarbonate in your eruption powder. In this reaction, carbon dioxide gas is created, which builds up in pressure in the lava chamber until it bubbles out of the top of the volcano. Mm -hmm. This is a good representation of what happens inside of a real volcano when they erupt. Hmm. Now I want to. Now I want to do it again. Where's that little that little container that I had? <laughs> Science. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> I have a mad scientist. I need to take these off again. I don't think I was ever in any real danger. I think that's no, more to teach I don't a child so. about safety. Yes, that's what that was. That was fun! Yay! Yay! There, now you have fulfilled your childhood fantasies of doing a volcano for class. It wasn't all I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I expected more exploding. <laughs> as a child, maybe that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, as a kid, maybe your imagination went a little more wild. Kind of fun. Thank you so much, Shannon West. This was so much fun. Mm -hmm. I love, there's so many more experiences to do. Maybe we'll try to do some TikTok-y yeah. things. There's also that one with the bonus ones of things you can do with stuff around your house. Yes, Maybe yeah, I was reading that. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. I highly recommend this kit if you have a child yes. who wants to do sciencey things. This, it's fun and it's teaching you as there, you go. Are, this is really good self-contained. Lots of like fun stuff is happening in yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. We'll do it again, we'll do it again. Is there more in it? No, now it's just no, now it's just don't drink it. Don't drink it. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget to hit the bell for new content coming up pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, it's still bubbling down here. Yeah. It's because it's 